bitten Johnny's hand off, what with him being a conner. Yeah, well, if I know Peter, I'll speak of the devil. Hey, uh, have you got a minute? Go on. I just wanted to apologise for yesterday. I was rude, so I'm sorry about that. You should have accepted his offer. But you were just trying to take advantage. Yeah, well, that's a conner's all over, isn't it? Lurking in the wings, ready to swoop. I want to sell this place as much as you do. Well, clearly not. But not for that price. We've put too much graft in, too much hard work to let it go for nothing. You're probably right. Thanks. I'll get it sorted. I promise. I'll get it sorted? What, like you're some little lady who needs a toaster count to 20? Oh, I'm going to get it sorted, all right? Can't wait to see his face when I do. Right, so Rita says they won't know that my mum had a stuff repossessed because that was at a different address. And don't forget to tell them, yeah, that we're dead keen and that I've worked in the service industry. You got that, yeah? Service. Got it. My family's had his business with this bank for years. So, fingers crossed, eh? You're baking a cake. Yes, I am baking a cake. A rainbow one, if you must know. She was even a hoover in the front room in the middle of the night. It wasn't the middle of the night. It was 5.30. Back for the middle of the night. Well, what time are the twins coming? Dinner time. Oh, I am that nervous. It's the first one, supervised one. Well, I'm sure they'll be dead excited to see you. Hey, listen, um, that toy I ordered for Charlie's birthday is at the sorting office. You couldn't go and pick it up for me, could you? Oh, got Lexi this amazing superhero costume. I'm not home. I'm working till dinner. Well, I would, but my dad's paid me to clean his street. Sorry. No worries. I'll, I'll find someone else. All right. Uh, your Alex, nice. Oh, ah. Ah, what am I like? I've got someone else money to throw around. <laughs> <laughs> You all right? Black coffee to go, please. Coming up. Get you looking all handsome. Oh, Mum will be proud. Yeah, well, I thought I should make a bit of an effort for Dad's 60th birthday. Oh, Sabine, what does she want? His ex. Oh, you are kidding. They've only gone and invited her. She's a nightmare. Yeah, and then some. Looks like it's my day that's about to be spoiled. Starting to think I had a lucky escape. Coffee to go. I will work on them, OK? Okay, so if you haven't noticed, I should have been at work 15 minutes ago. Oh, sorry, go home. <laughs> the reason is, I booked the day off. Really? Hmm. So why don't I get us a couple of fresh brews and you ever think about what you want to do? <laughs> Possibly. But to be honest, Tony, I thought that my services behind your bar were no longer required. Oh. <laughs> Well, that is good to know. <laughs> OK. When do you want me? See you then. Bye. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Johnny flipping Connor pub landlord, that's why. Not my problem. And like I said, he doesn't own the place. He's a married man. Well, far be it from me to dredge up things from the past, but you are a hypocrite of the highest order. Hey, Tracy, Becky, Leanne, how's that for starters? That was in the past and we're not talking about me, are we? No, we're talking about you. Right. What happened between me and Johnny Connor is also in the past. He made his choice and it wasn't me. OK? How quickly can you get it on the market? Really? That quick? No, that's good, good. Uh, I'll see you at one, then. All right, cheers. Bye. Uh, we need to clear up. Have I become invisible or something? Oh, don't be like that. What's I supposed to say? I'll just check with my wife. Yes, and you might have said the same to Peter Flaming Barlow before deciding how we're going to spend the rest of our lives. Well, for a start, he turned the offer down. Well, you wouldn't think so, the way you're flogging this place from under us. This is an exciting opportunity for us. If Peter doesn't see sense on the prize, then there are other pubs. Running a local boozer is not an exciting opportunity. It's like a last chance saloon, literally. You've got to be more positive. No, I don't need to be anything. I thought this was a marriage, equal partnership. Yeah, 
It is. Of course it is. Ah, Kitty, you. They're just words, Johnny. You can't go on making huge decisions without thinking what I want again. I know. I'm sorry. The thing is, I heard from the solicitor. Following the inquest verdict, he recommends that I shouldn't continue my fight for the factory. I need something. No, no, wait, listen, please. I can't focus. Because, Aiden, what happened... is with me. It will get easier. I know. And I know I need to adjust to a different world. A world without him. But I think I need to have something to concentrate on. Better get tidying up then, eh? Why do I have to pop in at lunch when I popped in now? Because, Steve, we've got a practice. And I haven't really got the time right now. Oh, I got you this. Right. Thanks. It's to help you move your hips better. I can already move my hips, thank you. Uh, Steve, darling, how can I put this? You could do with being a bit bendier. I'm 14. If you think that I'm going at this dance half cock, you've got another thing coming. Well, I'm sorry, it's not just about you, is it? What about when you run at me? When we're doing the lift? And then you fall on me like a bag of spanners? Well, exactly, Steve. That's why we've got to practice. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. Says the bloke that gave me his ex's ring. Really, Steve? Says here that you must perfect your pelvic thrusts and knee spins. Well, I've got clicky knees, has it? Oi, this is your fault. I've got this geezer saying we promised to have his car ready at dinner. I couldn't get one of you to pick up a parcel from the sorting office, could I? It's a birthday present for one of the twins, and I can't give one without the other. I'm sorry, babe, I can't, because I've got to get this order ready. I've got to choreograph. I'll do it. Seriously? Mm. You've got an order to do. I've got an airport run, but then I'll be right with you. Oi! This is important, babe. There's a child involved. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I thought Peter said the offer was too low. It is. Well, he's not in a position to up it, if that's what you're after. No, I'm not. Look, cards on the table. I want to sell and you want to buy. And rather than wait round for a higher offer, I would sooner just cut my losses and be able to move on. Fresh start. I hear that. There is just one condition. Oh, here we go. I'm not prepared to wait. Well, we've got to sell this place first. Oh, there must be another way. Look, you're getting a really good deal there, Johnny. You know that. I don't know. I suppose we could get some sort of loan. OK. I'll make some calls. <sighs> uh, what's Peter say about this? Look, this is about you and me being able to move on. Get that fresh start. So you just leave Peter to me. Both of you have grown like a foot. Oh, you are so heavy. What? You're heavy. Ah! His head goes to the park. Uh, listen, right, I've got to go to work for a bit. It's like this plumbing emergency. But you'll be back. Yeah, of course I will. So why don't you go inside with Mummy now and I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Mum's made a cake. It'll be your birthday. I was dead sorry that I missed it. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I tasted it. Come on then. There you go. Put another double in there, please, Leanne. Has he been in here all morning? Yeah, pretty much. Cheers. Adam, don't you think you should get something to eat? You really had a killjoy, aren't you? No, not really. I've got work. Can't you pull a sickie? Promised Kate that we'd make it a good day for Rana. Oh, no, no, I can't. Besides, you lot are all drinking, and I'm going to be the only one who's stone cold sober. It's a bit. Hey, thank you. About time. Sorry, she had to change three times. Uh, twice, actually. And then I put the first top back on. So, technically. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're not drinking? Uh, no, I've got to get back to work in a bit. Oh, unfortunately, the same thing can't be said for Adam. I thought you might be holding up the fort. No. Oh, not happy bunny, then. Not since Eva left, if I'm honest. 
Oh, just watch that glass. And uh, we've done a deal. What, he's up to his offer? No, but the good news is he can move quickly. Well, Peter's not going to be happy with that, is he? Yeah, well, it's not just Peter's pub, is it? Oh. <laughs> hey, do you remember when we tried to make fairy cakes for nursery that time? They were rubbish. <laughs> they were. They were dead hard. They were for Halloween. So Seb squirted a load of brown icing on them, called them rock cakes. And... <laughs> right, I'm going to go out and get a coffee, give you some time alone with these pets. <laughs> You'll be fine. When is Seb coming back? It won't be long. Hey, why don't I move all of this stuff out of the way and then we can have a game of summer? <sighs> oh, you wait until you see the surprise I've got for you two. Where is it? It's on its way. Right. Who fancies a game of hide and seek? You'll never find us. You'll fall asleep. No. No, I won't, I promise. Look, um, I'll close my eyes and then you two can go and hide. Okay? One, two, three, four. Look like a man on a mission. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe you put an offering on the Rovers. That's right. Well, as you know, my mum loves that place. And the punters love her, which is why she'll be such an asset. <laughs> Maybe not if your wife's there too. Three's a crowd and all that. Sorry. She told me about you and her. What exactly did she... Well, I know you slept with each other, if that's what you're going to ask. I know you had feelings for each other. So, like I said, three's a crowd. Does Tracy know? No, of course Tracy doesn't know. You're married. Oh, my mum painted as a flipping home wrecker. I screwed up, I admit it. Truth is, me has been all over the place since Aiden. I don't think I knew what I was doing, really. Oh, well, that's nice. So you get to play your get out of jail card and she takes the blame. No one's blaming Liz. Well, I think Jenny will when she finds out. Well, she's not gonna, unless you open your mouth. Anyway. What happened was a mistake. Have you told me, Mum, that? I love my wife. Liz knows that. OK, so basically what you're saying is that she was just like some convenient bit on the side while the pair of you were... Oi, Steve. Just had Abby on the phone wondering where her kid's toys got to. Looks like you should go. <sighs> well, they're not upstairs. Hmm. Maybe they're under the cushions! No. Hmm. Where could they be? Where could they be? Are they under the table? Yes! Gotcha. You didn't see me. You are so good at hiding. Now, I reckon Charlie might be in the kitchen. Where's Charlie? Charlie? You've won, you can come out now. Charlie, come out now. Where is he? Don't shout. Charlie! 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 Tell Claire about our game, okay? It's important, okay? Can we go home now? I'll call Claire. You said you had presents. 
Claire? It's Abby. Uh, I think they're ready to be picked up now. Oh, no. No, they, no, they want to go. Oh, no, I'm fine. OK, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Maybe I should give the bank a ring, see if he's still there. No, I'd leave you to Betty if I were you, love. Now, I don't want you to accuse me of not supporting you, but if, and I'm saying if, Henry doesn't get the loan, maybe whoever takes over the pub will give you a few shifts. I'd rather scrub out Portaloos. I thought you liked working behind the bar. Well, yeah, I'm like a piggy muck, but it won't be the same working for someone else, would it? Sorry. No can do, apparently. You're so young, love. There will be other opportunities. No, Rita, really, there won't. This was my chance, and now my pop, my customers, is going to go to some Billy Big Bananas with his money and his mortgage. And... I am sorry, love. Me too. I'm afraid I've let you down. Um... I understand if you feel the same and want to break up. Don't be daft. You're the only good thing I've got. I just really wanted us to make a go of it together, you know. I know. We're going to go for a walk. All right. Well, I wouldn't like to be in the shoes of whoever takes that pub over. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, how did I end up with so much stuff? We only moved in with one suitcase and a cuddly toy. Ah, <laughs> yeah, well, check your credit card oh. statements. <laughs> it is like a TARDIS, this place. Ah, oh, about time. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, but, you know, I'm a working man. Uh, we're working women. Hey, you're not in my good books as it is. <sighs> Two ticks. Abby, um, I'm sorry about that present. Um, I got waylaid. It's in my boot. Well, it's no good now, is it? I told them they were getting their birthday presents and now they think I'm a liar. What are you doing in here? Where are they? They wanted to go home. Home. They didn't want me. They wanted these people who were paid to look after them. Foster parents, not real ones. Not like me, who gave birth to them. But maybe they're just a bit confused. You were right about one thing, though. I am a rubbish mum. No, you're not. Even the kids think so. I couldn't even look after them for half an hour. What kind of mother does that make me? I'll be, I'll be. <laughs> What's the point? There isn't one. Hey, she came in on a mission, that one. Been knocking about like there's no tomorrow. Daddy. What's with all the boxes? Well, we thought we'd make a start, what with us moving out and all. You're not still upset because I turned down Johnny's offer, are you? No, no, I'm not. Um, but just as you thought it was fine to speak on my behalf, I told Johnny that we've reconsidered and we'll accept it after all. Well, I'll tell you what you can do. You can go back and tell him that you had no right. Oh, so it's OK for you to make the decisions, but not for me. I just want what the place is worth. Yeah, and I just want to leave. I... I just need... I need to move on, like you've moved on. And if that means losing a few quid, then that is a price I'm willing to pay. A price I'm happy to pay. I just thought we'd come and buy you a drink. Seal the deal. Yeah, OK. That would be great. Bottle of your finest fizz, please, Liz. Actually, I just need to get a few more boxes. You should have told me before you did it, that's all. What was the point? What, like there was no point telling me about Susie? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Once the paperwork's done, there'll be no need for you and me to have anything more to do with each other. So this is it. It's finally over. Now, if you'll excuse me, Anna. Yeah. Onwards and upwards, eh? Yeah. I don't know 
don't know how Daniel's going to get him up those stairs. <laughs> Some more worse for work. Adam drowning his sorrows over Eva. Oh, dear. Oh. Hello? Imran? Yeah, of course. See, Mummy, has been trying to call you. Hello? What can I get? My magazine. And can I give two of these, please, Rita? <laughs> it's nice to treat yourself once in a while. You know, according to Rana, I'm a feeder and I have a few too many of these treats. <laughs> it's going to be OK. OK, bye. It's my dad. He's collapsed. It's bad. So where is she? Search me. I came back and the place was empty. Come here. No. Um, this is hers. It's a toy for one of the kids. Oh, well, better late than never. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. She's already chewed me ear off about it. When? Where? In the pub just now. She's not there, she's not there. She's, um, she's already gone. I was a bit worried about her, actually, because she was, uh, she was in her right state. So why didn't you stop her? Well, couldn't exactly wrestle her to the ground, oh, could I? Oh, for goodness sake, Steve. Did she say what happened? Not exactly, uh, I don't think the visit went very well. Oh. <sighs> where do you think she could be? Somewhere where she can score. Cos that's what she does. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour.